Have you grown tired of the home deck in your Quest headset? Want to switch it out? The default environments are okay, but they get old. Loading side quest environments are fine, but they might not be quite suited to your interests. And before the steps to generate your own environment through Blender were way too much work for the payoff of a surrounding that you'll really only hang out in for a few seconds while selecting the app you want to run. Oculus added a new feature to set your own 360 image as the skybox background, but meta is going to be meta, so the end result is ridiculous by only allowing you to change out the background sky and leaving in place the general theme of the home environment, blocking out the majority of your custom image. Just about as silly as those mannequin arms you're forced to have instead of the old ghost hands. Now, However, you can easily take your DAS renders and set them as a custom environment. In this tutorial, I'll step you through the render settings to create your own backdrop image, go through the app that you will need to create the new background, and then go through the process of loading your new environment onto your headset. And one of the great things is that now you don't have to sacrifice any of your existing backgrounds for the new home deck. Okay, first things first. I'm going to assume you already have the skills to manipulate your models within the DAS Studio and set up your own scene. So once you have your 360 scene all set up, you'll need to render your spherical image to place on your headset. I've gone over the steps for VR rendering in an earlier video much more in depth, but as a refresher, first you want to select your camera. Under the Parameters tab, select Lenses. Then select Lens Distortion Spherical. And that's really the biggest requirement. But just in case, me personally, I like to also go under camera, set the depth of field to off. That way you don't have to deal with bokeh, or in other words, anything in the render being blurry and out of focus. I usually lock the focal length to 50 and the focal distance to 50. This has more to deal with maneuverability of the camera really than anything else. With the depth of field off, it'll make sure everything is sharp. Okay. Enough about the camera, and I've already rambled too much, but now to render settings. As mentioned before, I've gone over those more in depth in a previous video, but the change here is that instead of rendering a right and left eye, we will only be doing a single image. On the Oculus documentation, the recommended skybox image is 6144 by 3072, but on the app I'll show you in a moment, they have documented a minimum size of 4096 by 2048 and a maximum of 8182 by 4096. Now, if you notice and you do the quick math, all of those dimensions are basically a two to one ratio. So pretty much anything in between, as long as you maintain two to one. For the low end resolution, you're looking at roughly a eh, 20 meg image. Well, if you do the highest recommended setting, it'll run you probably around 55 to 60 megs just for a single image. Just a rough estimate, but if you're pressed for space, keep that in mind. Then just click render and voila, you have your new environment image. Now let's switch over to getting this onto your headset. It's gonna require an app developed by Vince Krusty called the Quest Home Environments Converter. Uh, this is an absolutely amazing little piece of kit. I won't cover all of the crazy options built in here, but suffice it to say, you can really go to town with environments created in Blender, Daz, or just your own panoramic images if you can take them with your phone or other VR cameras. I'm going to place a link in the description below for Krusty's Discord channel, and I do recommend going directly to the Discord to pull down the most recent version of the application as it does appear to be updated from time to time. But I'm also going to add uh, the links directly to the version that I have, which is the most recent version, which is version 2.1.2, for those of you who just can't be bothered with creating a Discord account to go and grab the app. Anyway. Just download and extract your app. Um, if you don't have Java installed on your system already, grab the Java included version. Uh, if you do already have Java, then just grab the plain app. Um, it is a standalone app, so you will not need to perform any installation at all. Just launch it. Now, select Panorama Builder. 
and then drag over the 360 image that you just rendered in DAS. Um, also, if you would like custom audio, you can drag over your audio file on top of the image. Now the solid green line, that's going to be the center focal point of your headset. You can move that around to wherever you want it to be. Uh, if you select auto install, it will automatically attempt to install your environment to the headset as soon as it generates its uh, APK file locally. So be sure to have your headset plugged in and already allow USB access to the headset before hitting that build button. Now, all you need to do is hit build panorama. This will generate all of the files that you used to have to manually create and place them into the build folder within the app and it will then load it automatically into your headset. You can watch the status bar as it scrolls along to see how the APK generation is doing. You can name your package and app any way that you want so it is recognizable, and that will be the name of the new environment in your settings on your headset. The app will then create the APK and automatically push it out to your headset. If you get an access error, Double check that you have allowed USB access on the headset or has an allow dialog box up on the screen in your headset. Now, let's go in and check the headset. Just go under settings, personalization, and now if you scroll down to the bottom, there you can select your new environment. You can create as many environments as you want. Name them differently and they will show up in your list. But to uninstall these environments, now you will need to go back into settings, then go to select storage. But instead of environments, select unknown sources and you will see your custom environments that you can then uninstall in case you need to free up space or you just wanna get rid of a, a home deck that you're not super proud of, who knows. Anyway, and that's really it. And now you can go back to your home screen and enjoy your new custom home deck environment in your Quest headset. I do hope you found it helpful. Once again, thanks for watching.